Hello everybody, Liliana from Vanilla and Canela here. Welcome back to my channel and to another video. So today I have oh, three hauls for you. TK Maxx, Sainsbury's and a tiny little one from Poundland. I went back to Poundland in the search for those white tiles that I want to do my fireplace but they still didn't have them. I think I'm going to have to give up, give up on that idea. But anyway, I went to TK Maxx because we are finally starting to see family and we are exchanging Christmas presents. Sorry, as I was saying, uh, we are starting to see family. So we are going to exchange Christmas presents from, you know, last Christmas. And I'm only just buying them now because, you know, I didn't get around. But I also had a £25 voucher for myself that was a gift for Mother's Day and... I've spent it. Let me show you the first thing. I could not believe my eyes. I got a tear tray, but it's not just any tear tray. It's a Ray Dunn tear tray. Now, I'm not a huge fan. I wasn't like, oh my God, it's a Ray Dunn um, tray. There you go. But I did like the way it looked says one and two um it's not i don't know if she calls it this a tear tray i think this is like their school there, there's a lot of like school related or stationary related stuff um now the only thing is i don't know if you can see it here i'll show you, show you right when i got home i noticed so I am going to try and maybe just put something on the back here to level it because that would drive me insane or I'm going to take it back. Now this was not particularly cheap but it wasn't too bad for what it is, $16.99 and I actually will probably use it this way around so you don't see the one and two. They had just pop that down they had quite a lot of the uh, like i said the stationary ray done stuff they had letter holders and pencil holders i really liked i had a pen and pencil pencil holders that i really really liked but it was 20 pounds and i already have other stuff that does the same job so i just got that one i also picked up myself another apron if you guys notice i'm always wearing the uh, um, Thermomix aprons. I just really like the way they're comfortable. But I said to myself, you need to start wearing the other aprons a bit more. They don't. The other ones I've bought before don't wash that great. So yeah, I thought I'd give this one a try. They always have the most amazing priced aprons. Look at that, five ninety nine, and you can adjust it there. And then it's quite big. Let me see. Let me see if I can show you. Oh, it's hard to show. It's nice. There you go. And it just goes around. So I thought that was really good for five ninety nine. Um, yeah. So I got that. I also might have gone over the twenty five pounds, but I have never tried the solid shampoos, and I saw this. And I thought, I'm going to give that a try. It smells, it smells nice. Um, does it say? It says, moisture, volume, solid shampoo for all types of hair, healthy, strong hair. And that was 249 And according to this, it's up to 30 washes. So I'll see how I get on. Like I said, I've never tried these solid shampoos. Let's see what I think. They had different types. I just got that one. And whilst we're on the personal hygiene stuff, I guess you'd call it, saw this multifunctional soap sponge char charcoal. It says it's a mild. I have no idea what this is like, but you're supposed to just, um, you can use it on your body. It's by a company called Daily uh, Concepts. Individuals who think in the shower yeah, anyway, it's spongy. I can feel inside, but it's also soapy. Um, I, I really like the smell of charcoal. Not in a, 
I want to I want to smell um like charcoal but I remember I've had before either soaps for the face or something like that that contained charcoal that I really liked it so I thought I'd give this a try I think oh yeah I also picked this up I really like these sort of see-through they had tons they had gold ones I ended up choosing this one because I'm going to put this one in our bedroom with a picture of our boys in it um, and we have quite a lot of black detail so I thought that would look nice but this was $5.99 there you go and then finally is this the last thing I got for my well for myself and for the house saw so these Hold on, let me just get these. These labels are a pain in the butt. Okay, so it's three essential oils, lime, sweet orange, and bergamot. Bergamot, is that how you say it? Um, look, there's three, three little bottles inside. As you can see, that was six pound for the th for the three, which is really good price for essential oils and they call this a uh, summer trio um yeah I just I really like those oils individually so I thought yeah that is a really good combination like I said that was six pounds loved it so that's what all, all I got for me I got Oscar a couple of bits the first one he's already used it um is a what do you call this a high chair toy so you put it on the high chair it has a suction cap and then he can play to keep himself entertained worked really well and i also got him a cup even though he's got like five already just i have a thing about cups and i thought this one was really really adorable you can look turn it around it has different people you can use it like that and it says it's spill proof nine ounces um and it's for over nine months old i thought that was really adorable so i got him that um tomorrow is father's day and uh, uh, paul's in the other room but this is what i got paul i got him a wireless charging stand well the boys we do not, we try not to spend a lot of money on each other. So I got him that and um, I, he's got some sweeties and stuff. Card, done. But he, I know he's been looking at these before. So I thought that was a really good price. Yeah, wireless charging, done. Okay, what else, what's next? Um, I also picked up a lot of stuff as gifts. Uh, some are gonna be given together, others, are for different people you know i picked up this this reusable bottle i thought this was really really adorable and it was 6.99 also got this little pot plant i am most likely going to buy a plant to put inside but that was 4.99 sorry upside down i love the little feet i thought that was really really cute I've also got a tie. This is for my father-in-law and it comes with a little pocket. What do you call it? Pocket square. Silk. Silk tie, you guys, down to $7.99 from £35, which is amazing, right? It's silk by Mike Michaelson's of London or Michelson's. I don't know how you say that, but yeah, I thought that was really good. I also picked up a photo frame. This will be for my in-laws as well. I'm just making sure that, yeah, it's okay. Uh, and it will have a picture of our boys in it, of our family. So they'll love that. Got these set of coasters. These are amazing price, $5.99. They had all different type types of these marble ones. And I went for this design. I thought this was really cute. And also picked up this, this tray. There you go. How much was this? 
$6.99. I thought this was beautiful. And my idea was to gift it with this. And then the pot plant. You guys know I love doing this on my table, having a tray with like a plant of some sort, some coasters, and you could even put like the frame or something like that. This was sticking up a bit more. And then it's like a centerpiece thing. So I thought that would be really, really cute. I also picked up for my nephews a couple of books. Got this one called The Earth. I thought this was really, really good. And it's usually $12.99. I paid $3.99 for it. And um, it's basically like facts. Like it tells you about the weather. I thought this was an awesome book. Just like factual books. So that's one for my older nephew who's nine. So he's slightly older than Alex. And then for my younger nephew who's six. This one, Human World, again, amazing, amazing looking. And it has, Paul had a quick nose around and about it. And Paul had a quick nose of it and thought it was really good. And again, it's usually $17.99. We paid $5.99. So I think that's it from TK Maxx. Yeah, it is. Like I said, I also went to... Poundland. I picked up some of this. Paul takes uses this in work. Um, he had he takes his own coffee and stuff like that. So uh, I got him some coffee mate. And then at the till they were selling these. These are like individual portions of milk. If you are not in the UK and you don't have these, but they're actually on sale for twenty five p. They are full fat, which makes them a little bit creamier. So I got him two. I wasn't sure whether or not he liked these, so I could have got 10 packets, but then I thought, oh, he might not like it. Anyway, I got him two. Um, I also picked up some instant coffee for him. I would not drink this, but he likes it, so that's okay. And then I got some of these remu reusable hooks. I didn't realize that Poundland also did. They had different types. Um, but I thought these were quite cool, look, kind of a pound as well. And while I was there, picked up some of these. You guys know I love these. I love these little tins. These are going to, I'm going to give them to Alex for his Lego. Uh, so I also saw, and we've never tried these little, um, what do you call them, brownies. So I got one of those for everyone to try. And again, Alex has two boxes that he can use and then finally some Sanex deodorant for myself that was it from Poundland so let me show you what I got in centuries picked up some tortilla chips some madeleines these were on offer for £1.50 they're usually £2 to £2.20 I love these but also some of these tuck cheese biscuits, some bread for Alex, some crisps for Paul. These are the barbecue flavour, of course. Um, what else? Some cheesy puffs for me and Paul. Picked up some apples. These were, listen, I, I've said before how expensive I think Sainsbury these is. Usually six apples and oh, just bruised by very expensive apples. So anyway, jazz apples are our favourite. Usually you get six in a packet for £2.20, that kind of thing. These were £2.30 for four. So there you go. <laughs> that says it all. Um, I also got a mini watermelon, a baby watermelon. I saw this and I thought this would be really good. Mediterranean style seasoning. Thought that this will be good on anything. Yeah, I'll give it a try. That was one pound something. 
I got um, Ethel's some food. They didn't have any gravy. I don't understand what the gravy thing is about, right? You can get, if you don't have a cat and you don't know, you can get pouches of food and they have either, they're in jelly or in gravy, whatever flavor they are. My cat, I've never known a cat that prefers jelly to um, gravy. Saying that, now a load of you are gonna tell me that your cat prefers jelly. But, all I'm trying to say is, so hard to find gravy, the gravy version. Why, why don't the supermarkets do the gravy version? Um, jelly, I got that. It was two pounds, 25, I think. Um, Tesco's own brand uh, or Aldi's own brand, it's one, one pound 89, I wanna say. So again, you know. I also picked up some pears, conference pears. Some sausage rolls. Got some of this kielbasa sausage. We love this, especially the garlic version. So yummy. Um, some sliced ham. Also got this cheese. It looks like something I would like. I have no idea. Um, there's a cow there, so cow's milk cheese and is um, Polish, yes. Cascaval. I'm hoping this is nice. It looks nice, so. Also got some Southern Fry Goujons. We did some wraps last week and we loved it. Even Alex, he didn't eat the wraps, but he liked the chicken. So I got just some more Goujons. Got a little pot of natural yogurt. I need this for a recipe. Then whilst I was in the Polish section, section I also saw some cheese, so sliced cheese, so I got that. And then, you guys, hot dogs. I know my American Canadian viewers will recognize these as the type of um, hot dogs you can get in your countries. I always get comments whenever I buy them in jars or tins uh, that you guys have never seen it like that. And like I said before, we do get them like that. What do you call this? Dry packed or, anyway. 10 classics smoked with natural beech wood. And then finally, I got two custard slices. Paul and I have not had these in forever. So I thought this would be really good. I'm gonna show you. If you are not in the UK, you might not have these, like we don't have these in Portugal. This is what they look like. Custard slices. That is it. That is everything, you guys. Thank you again. As always, for watching. I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye. I almost forgot. I also got this Indian takeaway bag. Life is a winding road. It was seven pounds and it comes Don't with chicken tikka masala, go. chicken korma, pilau rice, two fei naan, and onion gajis. We're gonna love this.